Hello everyone and welcome to Martin's Diecast Review. Today we're going to talk about all of these models here and the reason behind this whole video is the issue I keep having with this store. This is a Target store that uh, refuses, and I, when I mean refuses, I mean, you know, they won't bring anything out for you. And the whole issue is ongoing, and here I'll tell you how it starts. One day I go into Target, and the pegs are empty. And they are putting up some cars and stuff. So, you know, I asked. They check, but they say they can't go in the back. You know, and they're, oh, you got to come back later, or we're not getting any today. So one day, I decided to keep checking the target. Throughout the day, I kept checking and checking and checking. And finally, after a couple of hours have passed by, they finally put something out. Now, how is that fair to any of the collectors? Well, another time, I asked, and the woman says, oh, that's all we had. And, I mean, you're not going to sell three cars off the pegs, are you? I mean, you're going to refill the stock, so each time, especially since there was a sale that week, too. So each time, you know, you're going to reorder it so you can make some money, exactly, right? And, and so finally, you know... I said, all right, whatever. So I, I left, came back later on that day, and there's at least two or three cases went up. And so finally, I decided, you know what, today I'm going to go and check it out. So I went in, and, um, you know, they, they put, it looked like they put a case out, and but they weren't working on the toy aisle yet, so that, that must have been an old case. So... I decide to ask, and the kid does an inventory thing. You know, they take one of these, they scan it, and then they'll they'll tell you, oh, you know, we got we got some in or they're coming in, and um, so he says, yeah, we got we got something in the back. So he goes to the back, and uh, he looks, and I assume he had it, but somebody stopped him because uh, a guy went by him and said something, and. So he, he came out and he said, oh, I can't bring it out because we got to wait for the other departments to come out. And, you know, I'm thinking this whole time, I go to other targets. This one's just closer to me. And um, so I go to other, other targets and, you know, I ask them, they scan, they say, yeah, we got it. And, you know, they never say, oh, we can't bring it out for you. They, they, they are happy to bring it out for me. So, I don't, I don't understand, is Target in business to lose money, lose sales, or are they in business to make money? Because the faster I can buy something, the faster they can get their money back. And, you know, that's just one thing that I really don't understand with Target. Is that, why are some stores very happy to give you a product so they can sell it? I mean... I, if I ever get a case, I put the vehicles up. I put them up, no problem whatsoever. I put them up, I, I uh, cut the box up, flatten it, and I put it off to the side on one of their carts that they have cardboarded. So I put the cars up, I get what I want, Target gets my money, I make my reviews, I have cars in my collection. And the cycle's ongoing. So next time I go in, I buy more cars, I get cars in my collection, Target gets their money, and, you know, it goes on and on and on. But for some reason, this store is, no, you may not have it, somebody else can have it. While I'm first there, I'm first one asking in the, during the day, I'm the first one with the money in my hand, but yet this Target store does not want to take my money which is weird because you know you're in business to make money so why aren't you taking my money so today I finally decided to complain I went talked to the manager 
the manager understood where I was coming from. And so he said, all right, I'll go take a look. He, he said, yeah, we got something. So he went and he was gone for like 20 minutes. And right after he left, I overheard a comment that really, really pissed me off. And I heard, which one is it? Oh, him. Like, r really? You're going to you're gonna complain about me? And why? I'm not, I'm not causing a problem. Every time I came in, you know, I come in, I take a look, see whether or not they're lying to me. And in most cases, they are. So to hear a comment like that, you shouldn't really be in business. You know, you shouldn't even be, first of all, serving customers if you have an issue with customers. And for people like that, they should be fired. If if that was my target, and I was the manager of that store, and I had an employee talking about customers, especially in front of the customers, I would fire them. No doubt about it. So, just a quick look at what I picked out of the case after he finally brought me a case. I got myself a Toyota off-road truck, regular. Got a Scion FRS. It's a pretty cool model. I'm going to actually give this to a friend of mine who really loves Scions. She, she's, she's like the biggest Scion person I know. Got myself a 96 Nissan 180SX. Pretty cool model. Got this custom Chevy. Very hot. Um got two of them I know a couple of people who are looking for those I'll give them one that's a new for 2016 model got myself another stingray pretty cool model I'm gonna be doing a Chevy dealership too got a 77 Pontiac Firebird it's actually a pretty cool model picked up a few of those already got myself a F-150 Really big fan of the F-150. That color. I got two treasure hunts. These are going to be up for trade with my crew guys. Pick up some uh, treasure hunts I don't have. Picked up two of these 13 Chevy Copo Camaros. Really liking this color scheme on it. They did a very nice job with it. Picked up two Tesla Roadsters. These are probably going to end up going into my dealership. I'm making a Tesla dealership right now in the city of Matchbox. And I got some Batman Batmobile. New for 2016. Picked up two of them. You know, I like I, I told the manager, I said, you know, I normally spend between, you know, 15 to 30 bucks. I spent 30 bucks yesterday at a Target. So, actually, yeah, I spent 30 bucks because I bought Matchbox, too. And, um, you know, I told him, you know, I'm spending money. And, you know, there shouldn't be a reason why you should hold something from a customer. You know, that's the one issue that, if I really think about it, maybe they got somebody who comes in and bribes them. I have that issue with a Walmart. I actually don't go to that Walmart that much like how I used to. I'll only go in there to check on the Matchbox. Anything Hot Wheels related at that store, I don't even pick up anymore. Um, especially after the manager said, yeah, we get about two dumpings per month. So, really, quite honestly, that store is bribed. I had an employee actually admit to me that they get pizza for Hot Wheels and, um, you know... It is what it is, like I will say always in my videos. Um, be a new video coming out soon. I know I've taken a little break from each of the channels, but uh, there is an unboxing video coming up. It's actually going to be two for the next K Day. See you guys later. Bye bye.